Okay, uh, hello everyone. Uh, tonight's video is going to be quite short and sweet. Um, we need to define some terms that will allow us to describe uh, how far diseases spread. Um, your task for tonight is to take this down as a heading, that is, classifying the spread of infectious diseases. And then as we move through the video, uh, just copy down the notes that you see on the screen. All right, let's begin. First of all, uh, our first term is endemic. A disease that is endemic is a disease that is common to a particular region. That means a disease that occurs regularly in that region. You've heard me use this term um, before when we were discussing um, malaria and that is because malaria is an example of a disease that is endemic to the tropics. Epidemic, on the other hand, is a, uh, an unusually high number of cases of a disease in a particular region. That's over and above the cases that would normally be expected. For example, Sweden stopped vaccinating its children against whooping cough in the 1970s. And as a consequence, Sweden experienced uh, whooping cough epidemics throughout the 1980s and 1990s. That means that every so often, Sweden would record a very unusually high number of cases of whooping cough. So where Sweden might expect to see three cases of whooping cough in a year, for instance, I'm just plucking that number out of the air, during an epidemic, Sweden might have recorded 30 or 300 cases of whooping cough. And that would be an epidemic. Interestingly, since Sweden resumed vaccinating children against whooping cough, those epidemics have stopped completely. An outbreak is an epidemic. So these are two words that mean the same thing. Outbreak and epidemic are synonyms. That means two words that mean the same thing. A pandemic is a worldwide epidemic. So at the very least, in order to be called a pandemic, a disease has to be uh, epidemic in its proportion. That means an unusually high number of cases. And that has to be across international borders at a minimum uh, or else worldwide. An example of a pandemic would be AIDS. AIDS um, has spread all around the world uh, only since the early 1980s. Uh, and to this day, the world remains in the grip of an AIDS pandemic. Okay, that's it for tonight. You're done. Uh, good night. I'll see you in class.